part. Um, sorry. The port. Can't speak. The niacinamid. 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 I can't say it. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best and worst of Essence that I've tried. Uh, obviously, they have many more products, but these are just the ones I've tried and how I feel about it. And it is all in my opinion, as usual. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So I actually have 24 products in total that I've ranked in the best and worst category and then I have a few in like neither here nor there so I don't love them but I don't particularly hate them so I thought I'd just throw them in at the end. I'm going to be doing this video slightly differently whereas before I've done best and then worst or vice versa but today I'm just going to tell you in each category what I liked what I didn't the products that I do have on hand I have also just applied on my face today so I'll add in little demo videos for that too but starting off strong let's go ahead and start with I guess this is skincare but this is the hello good stuff let me show you it is the Hello Good Stuff Happy Bliss Face Spray. And as you can see, I've used all of it up. I really like this. I'd use it before my skincare and then also before makeup. And it just gives your skin a little boost of hydration. So I really love this. They do have some other, I want to say flavors. This was the citrus one. I really did enjoy the smell of this. However, it does have vitamin B in it. So it kind of has that vitamin B smell. But other than that, I really, really love this product. And would 100% recommend. So now let's go into some of the worst like primers that I've tried from the brand. And the first one is this one, which I do not have on hand. I've actually decluttered it. And this is the Skin Loving Sensitive Primer. This one just served no purpose for me. It didn't do anything for my skin and it was basically a moisturizer. And I have other moisturizers that I use daily that I prefer a lot more then I did that primer. So I've just handed it off to someone who can make more use of it. Anyway, moving on to another one that I didn't like, and this is the, this is fairly new, but I've used it enough times to be able to make a fair judgment on it. And this is the part, um, sorry, the port, can't speak, the poreless partner primer. And when I swatched this in the shop, I really liked it. It felt really smooth and it has that vitamin, vitamin it has that watermelon smell as well like the niacinamide 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 i can't say it like the niacinamide one that i really love so it had that same fragrance and it felt really smooth on my hand and i was really excited to try this but applying this all over the face it gets really really dry and flaky and it just i don't know it accentuates my pores more than it diminishes them so I wouldn't recommend this and it is definitely one not one of the better primers from Essence. Next another one that was really really horrible um, I've done this in a short before which I will just link up in the cards but this is the magic all-in-one face cream and this is supposed to be one of those that change color and as you can see in the demo it just pulls up it settles in my pores and it also like I don't know it just it clings to dryness that I don't have. I don't have dry skin, so it's just a very weird product. It is really oily, um, very fragranced, and it just doesn't absorb into the skin nicely. It's just streaky, and if you even if you use a sponge with it, it just moves around, and this is horrible. I don't see why it even exists. It's not a, not a good product at all. Then moving on to some things that I do like. <laughs> so again, th this is the Essence Hydro Hero Under Eye Stick. And I like to use this before concealer with all my concealers just because it gives the eyes a little bit of hydration because it has glycerol in it and panthenol as well. So it is fairly moisturizing. It feels, it's a really weird texture to be honest. It's kind of like underarm roll-on, but when you touch it, it feels kind of like water. It's a very weird product, but I do really like it for under makeup. Skincare wise, I don't think it does anything to be honest, but it just gives my eyes a little bit of hydration before going in with concealer. 
then I mean this is probably a given and everybody knows this by now is these two primers I absolutely love them and this is the hello good stuff glow serum primer and it's hydrating and smoothing and has watermelon water and niacinamide in it so good it makes my skin feel so smooth and honestly makes all my foundations look really really good and I use it in combination with the fix and last makeup gripping jelly primer and this is supposed to be hydrating and refreshing and it is very hydrating um, it, it does give my skin a little bit of a tack like I showed in the demo you can actually like feel it stick maybe not as powerful as the elf power grip or the milk makeup gripping primer this one is still really good and I really really love these two together honestly I use it daily and I'm thinking of adding this into my project pan this year I mean next year just so that um you know I can get more use out of it and I have an excuse to use it every single day so definitely love these for foundation the worst one I've tried well there's actually only two liquid foundations I've actually tried from the brand there are a couple more that I've seen in store but I've, try, I've tried it on the back of my hand and I just didn't like the texture so I didn't go ahead and buy those. So the first one I tried was the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation in the shade Cool Okra. This foundation, there was nothing hydrating about it to put it very politely. It honestly wasn't in any way shape or form hydrating it clung again to dry spots seeped into my pores and just generally looked horrible given I did get a shade that was maybe a shade too light for me but still like the texture of it it just wasn't good so I also decluttered that one uh, I'll put up a picture as I usually do but that one mm -mm. and I've seen a lot of people like it but for my skin type I think it just wasn't good at all but then we have this Hydro Hero, which is fairly new to my collection. It's the Hydro Hero 24 hour hydrating tinted cream. I've probably had this for about a month now, but I've used it so many times. I am wearing it all over my face today. And this is just really nice for like an everyday look. Like if you wear makeup every day and you don't want something too heavy, this is great because it just evens out your skin tone. It's really, really lightweight and I really enjoy it. So. It didn't look the best today, I'm not going to lie, because of the other products I layered underneath, like the Magic Cream and the Poreless Partner Primer. Those are horrible, so it was going to look horrible, but I mean, it did kind of save it. But this is really good and I would definitely recommend it. It's not too expensive either. The last I checked it was like 120 Rand, so really, really good. And I love that. Then moving on to like a powder foundation or powder. So this is the 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I have showed this on my channel before. I did like it almost a, I did a review on this by itself as well. And it's really, really, really good. I went away for the weekend to some hot springs and I was wearing this and I went swimming. My face got wet and this still stuck to my face. It is really waterproof and it looks gorgeous on the skin. However, I just wish that they had more shades because as you can see, my face is slightly deeper than my uh, skin is because it's just a more orangey tone so I wish we had more shades available I know they have about 20 shades no 12 shades if I'm not mistaken so maybe more my it might be 20 I can't remember but yeah uh, they have a few shades but we just don't have available to us but this is really really good today I just used it over the top of the Hydro Hero and it can Give you more coverage or you can do a light dusting just to set your makeup but as you can see it's not as matte as I thought it would be but I did go over with a setting spray so it just hydrated it back up again but this is really good and I would really really recommend if you do like powder foundations and if you have slightly more oily skin I think this is a great option for something not too heavy on your skin and that doesn't really move or budge. Then another thing I do not like and it is one of the only concealers that I've tried from Essence but this is I've mentioned it in my worst video it is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer this is just so dry on my skin the color is perfect I really really like the shade but it's just a really really matte dry formula like I've seen matte foundations that are not this dry but it just looks horrible under my eyes and it pulls up like on my nose on the bridge of my nose especially I know I have like comedones over there like whiteheads 
which I try to take care of, but it's really difficult to maintain, but it just clings to everything and just doesn't look nice, even though I hydrated my eyes just before I went in with this, but mm -mm, really horrible, really, really bad. Then another powder as well um, from the brand is the Skin Loving Sensitive Mineral Powder. I'll pop a picture up. This was so dry. Oh my gosh, skin loving and sensitive. I don't think so. It was very, very dry and just highlighted all the imperfections on your face, like little peach fuzz or dry spots or pores. It would just highlight everything that was wrong with your skin in the first place and even some places where you didn't know there were imperfections it just accentuated that so that was a really horrible product again i haven't decluttered that yet but it is in my collection in the uk but so 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 bad i do feel like i might give it a couple more chances now that i have different tools and you know my skin changes quite often so i might give it another go but as far as i'm concerned it's a really bad powder the next product i've also featured on my channel quite a few times and it is the contouring duo in 20 darker skin this is really good for an affordable option obviously i've tried better contouring or bronzers but this is a pretty good one uh, for the price it's about 90 rand which is really really affordable i haven't seen that many people talk about it but honestly it just gives your face like a really natural uh, bronze and the contour shades really really light and easy to work with so as a beginner i think this is great just to like experiment with and see what your preferences are but to start off with i think this is a great 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 little palette and um it's probably going to go into my project pan for next year once again it's one of those that i want to use and it's not like a mission to like reach for it this is really good and i really enjoy it again this one i featured in my previous videos before and this is the blush the s it's just called the blush in the shade 30 breathtaking so it's not the worst blush I've tried in the world. It really isn't. It's just not as pigmented as I like my blushes to be. I don't want to faff around with building things up and, you know, waiting for it. And already it's starting to fade. So it's just not one of those blushes that I want to reach for. So for brows, I've tried two brow products from Essence. This one comes as no surprise. It is the Brow Styling Soap Set. This was a very very good product i loved it i used it up so quickly and it held my brows in place all day i had no problems with it and yeah i just feel like you don't get enough product in here it went way too quickly in my opinion but i definitely am going to pick up another one and repurchase this because it was really really good one of the better brow products I've used in a while. Then I recently picked up this Essence Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Gel. And this, even though it says extra strong, is really not, really, really not. It's compar comparable to the uh, NYX Control Freak one that I have that is just too wet and it doesn't really dry down. My brows are already falling and you can't get that really nice, like uh, fluffy brow because it just does nothing it is slightly crunchy and when you wash it off it comes off in balls but it's really not good and i would not recommend they definitely did a little bit of false advertising there because it's not extra strong at all it's not even close to what the got to be glued brow products are this is mm -mm subpar for sure so moving on to eyeshadow so as you all know i'm like a proper eyeshadow girl like i love all eyeshadows and essence hasn't given me the best options for eyeshadows in all honesty they don't often come up with new eyeshadow palettes and i've seen like they had the weird collection where it was like miami rome and london and i've seen a few reviews on those absolutely hating them and just thinking the formula is trash which in my experience most essence eyeshadows are they're just powdery patchy and blend away which brings us to this one today which is the uh, what is it called out in the wild eyeshadow palette i was so excited to try this because it looked gorgeous in the shop they had two colorways i can't remember what the other one is but i'll pop it up it's a red one and i bought this thinking oh my gosh it's going to be amazing greens you know i love greens and golds on my eyes and my skin tone but it was so disappointing it's just you can't build the mats up because they start to patch and blend away and the shadows are so lackluster that if you don't wet them or use an adhesive 
it's shit. It's honestly, it doesn't even glimmer. Like it's really, really subpar and I don't think it's good at all, uh, which is mostly my issue with Essence products. So the next one I have is this little palette, which I did use on my eyes today as well. I used a couple of the shades out of here and it is the Don't Worry Be dot 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 mini palette. It looks like that inside. And I um, experimenting with more cool tones on my skin. I don't partic particularly like them. I look like I've been punched in the eye, but I thought this was interesting and the shadows, I mean the shimmers looked intriguing. So it is a very, very soft and very loosely packed, but once you try to adhere it on the eye, it just moves around and is quite powdery. So again, you need to use an adhesive or wet your brush with setting spray for it to adhere. And after a while, just fades away so this is not a good palette they have the pink one as well but I would avoid this to be honest then moving on to a palette that I do like and I'm sure you could have guessed it is the Jurassic World one this quality is completely different it's so 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 much better than the rest of the products that I have or the rest of the eyeshadows I have tried it's very light like especially the the mattes in here, they're like quite light and you need to build them, but it's okay if the quality is good, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have a buildable shadow where you just don't like pop it on and it's pitch black. So it's quite nice and I really, really love the shimmers in here. They really do feel like quite impactful and looked impactful on the eyes. So I am wearing this today as well. I've put the orange and the gold on my eyes and I really love it. And then this little I don't know, champagne-y shade. Um, this one is a completely different texture from the rest and I actually really like it because you can actually, you can actually see it and there's not too many glitter, glitter particles in it. This green shadow is probably one of my best eyeshadows of all time. Like I just love the shade and the way it looks on my eye. Really, really stoked with this and I really love it. This was limited edition, so unfortunately it's not available everywhere anymore, but if I can find it, I'll definitely link it down below. So uh, this lip oil, the cranberry, it's just called the cranberry lip oil with tinting effect. I like to use this before my makeup application because it just moisturizes your lips nicely and adds a slight tint so you can kind of see where your makeup is going. And I really, really enjoy this. This is really good and I love to just put on a lip liner and then pop this on the lips or just use it during my makeup application to moisten moisture to moisten my lips and give me a nice you know base for when I do go in with lipstick so I would definitely recommend this and it's not too expensive like all the other lip oils then moving on to mascaras I actually have three mascaras from them so the let's go for the worst one I've tried is this I heart it's supposed to be the I heart extreme volume mascara in black this is the dinosaur limited edition one but it's the same formula as the I heart extreme one and I really did like this when I first opened it it looked gorgeous on my eyes but the more I've used it the clumpier it's gotten and then the other day I wore it as well because I do like voluminous lashes especially because I don't wear false lashes too often because I just think it's too dramatic on me and it looks like I've just made too much effort and makes me feel uncomfortable when I'm out so I like this for loads of volume but unfortunately it transfers so okay well I'm recording this on the 19th but on Thursday sorry no it was Friday on Friday the 16th of December I went to my sister's birthday party and she did like a little um, thing at like the clay cafe and it was really humid that day and uh, afterwards we went out to um, the casino and uh, when I looked in the mirror, I had full on panda eyes, like literally it had run all underneath my eyes and I didn't even put it on my bottom lashes. So it looked horrible and I literally am thinking of decluttering this just because of that. Like honestly, I can't babysit my mascaras. So yeah, this is definitely the worst one I've tried from the brand. Then moving on to the ones that I do like is this Essence Lash Princess volumizing one. The writings all come off because I'm sure I mentioned in another video, but if you don't know, I had like in my travel makeup bag, my eyelash adhesive exploded and there's just like 
glue everywhere so i tried to take it off with nail polish remover and unfortunately it took off all the writing but this is that one which i am wearing today i've layered up about two coats and i do like the volume as well it doesn't give as much volume as the other one but it definitely is a better one it doesn't transfer as badly it still does transfer depending on how much i powder and how much i sweat but again it's not the best mascara i've ever tried but it is one of essence's better ones so i would definitely recommend that if you want an affordable option then we have the sensitive but wow um volumizing mascara as well this is good for like everyday use i do not like the wand on it it's just like a normal cheap brush applicator and I prefer rubber bristles because I just feel like it helps separate your lashes more and this doesn't give you that much volume it's more like a natural look and I would recommend this for every day if you do go to work and use mascara every day I would uh, suggest this because it doesn't flake off or anything it is a little bit more difficult to get off even though it says remove with warm water but um, yeah I double cleanse anyway so it's okay for me but I, it's pretty good for everyday use. This is a random one and I probably should have uh, mentioned it when I did the uh, foundation but this is the Essence Makeup Buffer Brush. So I bought this about a year ago I want to say when I was in Spain and I've only had it for about a year which I have much cheaper brushes than this and all the hairs are now falling out like as you can see they're all sticking up i don't know if you can see that but all the hairs are falling out every time i wash it or go in to use it like there's just hairs everywhere and this is really not worth it so avoid that there's much better brushes out there to finish this off let's go ahead and do lips so this is the only lip pencil i have from essence um the shade is not right because my sister gave it to me it is way too light for my skin and it basically blends in it gives me like concealer lips but i do really like the texture of this pencil it glides on really easily but it doesn't have the best staying power and that's why this is a category of neither here nor there then i have three lipsticks here the first one is the hydro matte which is what i use today the hydro matte lipstick in the shade uh honey s-t-l-y oh it's supposed to be like honesty honestly it's supposed to be like honestly but it's honestly anyway um i don't like this formula the best it does smell really good though but i really like the shade as well but the formula just moves around it is supposed to be a hydro matte and it does appear matte and it does feel moisturizing but it's not my favorite formula for myself then i have the two semi mattes which look like this and the one i have in 06 real and the other one is in 25 lovely so this is a really like deep shade so it looks like that it's like a nice mauvey color and the other one looks like this you can barely see it but it is of like more of a pinky color so this one i didn't even buy the pinky one it just came in like as a free gift when i bought something else but these again neither here nor there like i wear them because i have them but i wouldn't go out my way to repurchase these again that's it from me guys i really hope you enjoyed this type of video i do have another one that i'm thinking of but not sure whether we do that this year or next year please remember to subscribe like and comment for engagement that will be amazing and i will see you all in my next one bye guys